Hello there, Outrage developers. This is Outrage Games back with another awesome tutorial. In this one, I'm going to show you how to make a woman chase you even in your game. As you can understand, I will create an AI system that can be used for enemies in your game. So let's start. First of all, I'm going to add the box collider and the rigid body 2D to the enemy. For now, we only want her to roam from here to here, so I will create those two stop signs and create an enemy stop layer for them. Don't forget to check his trigger. Now I will make a C sharp script called enemy patrol and add it to the enemy. Now we need those four variables. A bool that will check whether we collide with the stop sign, one that will store the stop sign layer mask, a float variable for speed and a rigid body 2D variable which we are going to set equal to her rigid body in the start method. So now I will use an overlap box for the enemy to check whether or not she is colliding with the stop sign. The overlap box will simply turn is colliding to true when it touches the stop sign. You can draw it this way. So now I will make her walk always and change direction whenever is colliding is true. Have in mind that the overlap box changes direction depending on her direction. Now just set the stop mask and the speed and play. You can also see the overlap box. So here it is, the first step is done. You can now disable the sprite renderers from the stop signs. But, check this out, we are pushing her. And we don't want that. So just create a layer for our player and another layer for her. Now simply go to the edit project settings and uncheck this box in the physics 2D tab. Cool, now let's proceed to the other steps. Ok, I will draw the new overlap boxes so that you can understand how this is going to work. The yellow and the blue boxes are going to make her hunt you. The reason why I add this blue box is because I want her to hunt you even if you jump over her. So I will simply add three bull variables and the layer mask variable for detecting the player. Now I will create the yellow and the blue overlap boxes using the hand1 and the hand2 variables.
and then I will set the is hunting variable to true only if hunt1 and hunt2 are true. So now I will add a game object variable for our player and write the following code. If is hunting is true, then she is going to look right or left depending on the player's position. and her speed is going to increase to 5. If the player is near her, then her speed is going to be 0. And if she is not hunting him, the speed is going to be 2. So, now simply choose the player layer and attach the player to this variable and try it out. You can see that we are almost done. The only thing we want here now to do is attack. So I will simply create an is attacking overlap box and it will have the same size and position with the is colliding box, but it is going to have the player layer mask here. Now she is going to simply stop moving when she wants to attack you. Something extra would be to make her stop when she's colliding and hunting you simultaneously. And that's it. Feel free to comment down below if you have any questions or join my Discord server and become an outrage developer for further discussions. You can also support me through Patreon and see your awesome name at the end of every video. Thanks for watching. See you in the second part.